Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Clover Go app and what its functionalities are. Um, so as you can see here, I have an iPhone. You can upload, or download rather, the app for iPhone, Android, uh, on most devices. Um, but this is what it looks like, the interface. You can see the items that you would add manually to your Clover station and they would actually reflect on your Clover Go. Um, you can you know, add an item from your inventory or you can choose to do a custom item um, and then put the amount on there as well. So as you scroll down here, based on what you set on your station, uh, if you wanted to set a government discount or you know a law enforcement discount or um, any kind of discounts, you would add those on your station and they would pop up on your app. So as you can see here, you'd eventually select your items checkout. Um, you have a credit, debit card, cash, and check. Now, cash and check is clearly, it doesn't accept those right now, but you can actually record them. Um, so, in your accounting software, if you do something on the back end, you can record your cash as well as your check. So, there's a couple of different items on here. Um, see if you see cash, this is what it looks like. Um, it'll populate your change um, based on the tender that they provide you. Um, and the price of the item, which is nice. You can leave a memo on there uh, as well. So as you can see, the receipt would be here. You can send the receipt to their phone number, um, a customer's phone number, or their email. So you can add a custom item or add an item from your Clover men menu inventory. Um, for a credit debit card, you know, there's an option to select a tip if you wanted to enable that feature as well. Um, and you can actually swipe the card or key enter the card. So if the card's not present, you'd select their address for AVS services, and that's address verification services. You don't have to do that, but if you do, it will save you a little bit more money on the interchange. Uh, and then, of course, you can record a memo. So, I mean, if you had to accept someone's credit card information over the phone, you could. <clears throat> but once again, you'll be paying a little bit higher rate depending on what processor you go with. Um, now I'm just looking at the options here. It looks like you can send carbon copy receipts to either your phone or certain other phone numbers for processing or um, email addresses as well on the back end if you wanted to send it to your um, computer if someone wanted a, a hard copy of the receipt. Um, here's the different discounts <clears throat> and the tax rates you can set. So you can go ahead and set tax rates on your device. Um, and that can come in handy on the back end as well. So you see in the setup menu you have a couple of different options. Um, and then the device at the top you can click the button and then it'll just make it a if you just want to put in a certain amount. So if you want to check out a certain amount, <clears throat> real quick transaction on the go, if you're a food truck or you know if you sell you know some type of uh, you know it could be anything on the side and you just need to sell it really quick, you can put the amount in. <clears throat> so that about wraps it up. Hit me back up with some comments if you have any questions and I will see you guys next time.